Hi, I'm Martez Wilson. Um, today I'm going, or my speech today is going to be a persuasive speech. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm in my car right now. Um, it's really loud in my house, but um, the, persu uh, the persuasive speech I want to talk to you about today is going to be over school violence. But is it school violence for my as like nurture nature point of view? You know, whether the kids are um, born like that or violent like that, or if it's like their surroundings that makes them like that. Um, this is gonna be similar to my speech to read. Yeah, it's because I feel so passionately about it that I'm gonna do another one. Um, I'm gonna start off with a an interesting fact. Um, they say 60, 65 percent of the kids who do or kids who do um, school violence or school shootings um, has been outside effects. Like they were the outcasts or uh, the kids that got bullied or um, the. The kids who really didn't fit in, uh, they were usually the ones. Um, you're going to hear a lot of people saying that it's how they raised or like, if they were punished better or if their parents would have ground them more, um, you know, beat them more, that they would grow better. Um, in my research that I've done, it hasn't been like how they were raised. Like, I read an article of these two twins, like... Two fraternal twins, or, or two exact twins, um, raised the same way, lived together their whole life. Um, one, one grew up to be really violent, whereas the other one grew up to, he goes to, I believe, Harvard now. But that just goes to show you that they were raised the same way. It's all about like how you act, and it. It was the outside effects that turned the other one violent, if that makes sense. Um, so that's why I wanted to do this speech today. Because I believe that it's your outside and surroundings that make you who you are. And there's tons of facts that uh, show how outside effects could potentially uh, increase your violent behavior. Like me and my brother are two completely different people. Yeah, we were raised the exact same way. So that just goes to show that, and I hate to repeat myself, but it just goes to show that it's like, it's how you live your life, it's the outside effects that uh, kind of determine who you are. Another fun fact, um, or not a fun fact, another fact um, was actually in the story that I read online. It's about a kid named John... And John was a part, he didn't do it, but he was a part of a school shooting um, in at, or at a school in Delaware. And John was actually friends with the kid who did the shooting. Um, the guy who was interviewing John asked him a lot of questions that I'm going to get into. Some of them were really personal. Um, but just some of the questions I'm going to hit were he asked John, like, where was he like always like this and I guess John knew the kid for years and said that he was bullied a lot and picked on like John ended up joining the football team and leaving him kind of behind um, he said he was always picked on he didn't have a very good home life um, he said there's a lot of outside factors that drove him to that and that was my biggest point today was that it's not how you're raised. It's the outside of outside factors that make you that way is what causes these violence be, or violent behaviors. I believe, and from the facts that I've seen and read, um, it shows that a very high percentage of people are the exact same or think the exact same way. Um, I want to thank you guys for listening. The speech was a little short, um, a little bit more direct, but. Uh, it's something that I really care about and that I feel needed to be said. Like, the school violences are happening too often to too young. And I feel like it's our job to kind of prevent that. So, we kind of need to make a stand. Um, and we need to just get our facts straight because now we know we have facts that prove that it's not so much how you're born. It's like the factors around you that cause that. So once again, I do want to thank you guys for listening to me. My name is Martez Wilson. I do hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Thank you. Bye.